If you use the NeoVim extension for VS Code, you can have your NeoVim in VS Code, as I've shown previously. And as you can see, I have a bunch of remaps, all of which work. Uh, and I've also shown off how to map keys to do VS Code specific functions. And while the normal keys work as expected, and even some control keys, and by control keys, I mean like uh, control D, for example, or what else do I have remapped? Let's see, like control R, uh, control E, control T didn't work. Why? Well, let me explain. All the keys that you press while in NeoVim, or rather while in VS Code, are sent to NeoVim to be processed. However, every control key, so every key that you press with while holding on control, needs to be explicitly sent to NeoVim. And not all of them are. So let's open our keyboard shortcuts. If you don't know how to get there, you press Control Shift P and then keyboard shortcuts, I guess. Uh, and you go open keyboard shortcuts. Remember the JSON version because we'll get to that soon enough. So uh, let's see what NeoVim hotkeys there are. Uh, so we have a bunch of Control R plus things for every register. It's not like it just automatically goes there. No, we actually have to send the key cord them, uh, ourselves. It's not done automatically. Uh, let's go here. The scrolling functions are actually done by VS Code, not by NeoVim, so they're defined differently. So in case you want to remap your scrolling controls, this is what you have to look at. And other than that, you can see that we actually explicitly send the control characters, uh, whether we are in insert mode or outside of it. The thing is, to be able to use a control character in a remapping, you also have to remember to send it from VS Code as well. So let me show off how to do that. We just went to keybindings.json, which I showed you earlier. So uh, let's go to the end because I understood this quite recently and find. Okay, so here we are, control S. I don't think it's passed by default. I don't, I don't know if it does anything, but what you have to look at uh, is the when so essentially, editor text focus, control keys insert, equals insert. This means this will work if we are in insert mode. Yes, you can actually make different hotkeys depending on the mode you're at in VS Code NeoVim. Doesn't have to be NeoVim uh, hotkeys or anything of that nature, just your normal ones like, say, insert snippet, you can make it work only when you are in insert mode, for example. And when you're in normal mode, Alt-O will do something else. So that's nice if you didn't know that. But coming back, what is args? Args is actually the key to the issue. You actually have to pass a control character, as I said. And by default, this isn't here. Well, you have to add it. Essentially, what you're doing is straight up just uh, just passing control S. And then NeoVim can interpret that and do whatever else your remap actually does. So you have to add it here. But you might not be in insert mode or that remap might not be for insert mode. Well, uh, if you scroll up, uh, here's the things for not insert mode. There's probably a way to 
if NeoVim mode, hold on, bear with me. I've always been using the mouse in my tutorials because it's easier when recording, but I try to train myself to actually use Vim. So maybe there's a way to equals equals normal. There probably is, I just haven't tried, but not insert works just as well for pretty much every application. Because what you actually want is just to send the control character and the mode dependency goes on on NeoVim's side, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so here, if we wanted to use Control S in normal mode, we would usually uh, like select this, copy it, and then paste it, change the M to an S, and here an M to an S. Boom. Now we can actually make hotkeys or commands in NeoVim that use control S. Without this, we wouldn't be able to. <clears throat> and that's pretty much it. Let me show off what I actually made using this. I've touched on control T and control E. By default, uh, they do scrolling. No, control E does scrolling and control Y is supposed to, but it's undo. I'm not gonna remap undo. No way. Uh, so one of them, I think E worked, but T didn't because I didn't send the actual control character. And now let's see, I do control T and here it is. Uh, two of them actually, which is pretty strange. I guess we don't need two. Okay. Only a single one. So uh, I made this thing for insert mode. Or was it done before? Well, here's the version for not insert mode, nevertheless. I have both of them. And uh, if you care to, you could make the two versions kind of required for every key. But I recommend just making what you actually need, rather than making control plus every single character. No need. Basically, create these as you need them. Cool. Now, it has actually args, and it sends control T. And now, my init.vim can interpret this uh, as control T rather than just something that happens only in VS Code. And then it can do my control A <clears throat> or whatever else it does. So using that, hold on, <laughs> this is looking way too big. Uh, using that now when I have a number, I can actually use control characters uh, to increment it and dec decrement it. However, I do as well uh, have a command for that. So whatever you use them, up to you. Now you know what to do if uh, a control character remap doesn't work in VS Code. Uh, first of all, what you have to do is actually check whether it works in NeoVim, which you, yeah, which you do have installed, after all. Uh, check if it works there. If it doesn't, then it's probably a limitation of Vim or something of that nature. But if it does work, then it's this issue. The issue of having to actually pass the args for your remap to work. If you had this issue as well as me, I hope you now recognize how to fix it. And if that's true, definitely subscribe so you don't miss uh, any more cool tips that honestly I have no idea how you would find because I couldn't. Uh, well technically it's in the readme of the uh, repo. So let's go to Vim plugins. Um, yeah. 
So technically it's somewhere in this readme when it loads. However, I don't usually read the whole thing until I actually have an issue. If you don't like to read as well, you can just watch my videos. Interesting, my lights are out. I hope I'm still recording fine, and it seems like I am. Nevertheless, leave a like and uh, leave a comment as well. Maybe you have some thoughts about this, maybe some new ways you could use this, or some other, other tip that I or the viewers might not know. It's very, very welcome. Alright, have a good, have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.